Hello guys, it's Goldie X here and welcome to the Orange Box. Today I thought we would take a look at the Team Fortress 2 version in the Orange Box. This was a game I used to play on the Orange Box all the time and I have so many online memories from playing Team Fortress 2 on the Orange Box. Honestly, it was pretty much the only Orange Box style game I play most of the time. I did occasionally play Half-Life and Portal but Team Fortress 2 is where it was at for me. I have so many online memories from this game that easily makes this game my favourite online game of all time. I recently revisited this game in my spare time and I was actually quite shocked to discover there were still people online playing Team Fortress 2 on the Orange Box even today so I thought, you know, why not make a video on Team Fortress 2 and play it in the Orange Box and make a nice little video on it. Yeah, I thought to myself, why not, as I saw there were still people playing online on this and I thought, yeah, why not give the Orange Box a look. Let's revisit it again after all these years. Let's get ourselves into a game. Oh, nostalgia. The amount of times I'd always see this menu every time I'd come into this game. So let's go into a custom match. I don't think it really matters what match we go on to. Let's see if we can get ourselves into a match. Oh, they've got ourselves a little 2 foot game. Alright, let's jump straight in. Look at that for a performance report. That just shows how much I used to play this game back in the day. Oh, the memories. So I don't think it really matters which team I join. Let's join Team Red. I like Red. They're my favourite team. So the PS3 version of the orange box, so the team's picked up the enemy intelligence, so the PS3 version of Team Fortress 2 is basically a weak port of the of the PC version of Team Fortress already got a kill, nice, all crap. Oh, what a nice shot. Okay, that was a brilliant shot. Okay, 2-4, I wouldn't say it's my favourite map in Team Fortress 2. Dust Bar was always my favourite map every time I played Team Fortress 2. So we captured the enemy intelligence, nice. So I thought, as I managed to get myself into a game back in the day, I'm quite surprised how many people are still online playing this. So I thought, you know what, why not try and get ourselves into a game? Do some gameplay on it, because I have so many memes. So it'll be like revisiting my, my secondary school days if I played this game again. I remember every time I got home from secondary school, most days I would go on, log on to my PlayStation 3 and play Team Fortress 2 all the time. At one point, it's pretty much the only game I'll ever play. I used to have so much fun playing this online back in the day. It was such an amazing game. It really was. Eventually, I got my hands on the PC version. Eventually, obviously, the PC version is miles better than the PS3 version. I'm saying how good the PS3 version is. But if the PC version is much better, just imagine how good the PC version is, right? In case we've got Team Blue enemies coming out. So I thought I'd play as a scout to start with because scout is... Okay, my attention has been picked up, which is not great. So, we got an engineer on the team. No, we don't. I think maybe I should... Okay, we've taken the enemy intelligence, but I think, I'm think i thinking maybe I should spawn as an engineer. Oh, shit, I'll press the circle button back. So our attention has been dropped. Okay, so that scout picked up. I'll press the square button back, and so if you press the square button, you can, play loads of you can do loads of taunts with your character. Like with a scout right now. My favourite with scout was always when he was carrying a baseball bat. Bonk, boink. Yeah, why don't you come over and say that to my face, tough guy? Bonk. That talk right there just shows how much of an attitude Scout has got. But anyway, so our turn just has been dropped, so I just want to make sure the other guy doesn't get to it. Is he coming? Well, I need to make sure. I need to make sure that Scout does not get the intelligence. I don't think so. You're not grabbing the intelligence, not today. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've done it again. I've pressed the square button again. Okay, is that scout? Okay, I think we've got an engineer on the team now. Yes, we do. Wonderful. I was going to say, we definitely need an engineer on the team if we're to keep the intelligence protected. There's a sniper there. I'm going to use the baseball bat on this guy. Ha! Bye-bye. So there we go. The scout is my favourite class, but I wouldn't always find the scout to be the most useful class of players in the game because the engineer is easily the weakness for the scout. Okay, medic's healing the scout, so I'm just going to retreat quickly. We, taken... we captured intelligence, now it's been taken again. So the more I play the PS3 Verges game nowadays, the more I just want to go back on the PC Verges game. If I could get back on the PC version again one day and do that, and maybe I will play the PC Verges game and do loads of Let's Plays on it. Oh my god, a century. Yep, that is the weakness for the scout, the sentry. When there's a sentry on the map, the scout is just doomed to die. Alert. The enemy has taken our 
So I think uh, the blue one's hedging there. So if I stay around here for a little while. Yeah, but I think we're going to win this game in a minute. Hopefully. Yes, we have. Victory. There we go. I'm going to blow... Okay, our sentry's going to be blown up. Okay, so that is the Team Red wins. Is there going to be another game, or are we going to vote for a new map? It looks like... We only have one round each game, so I'm going to vote for Dust Bowl, because Dust Bowl is my favourite map. Let's get into a Dust Bowl game. Oh, I love Dust Bowl. It's such a good map. It looks like that might be the map we're going to next time. Let's get ourselves into a Dust Bowl game. Okay, welcome to Dust Bowl, my favourite Team Fortress map. I'm going to join Team Red. I love defending. Okay, I'm not going to be Scout for this, because if we get some... Well, I could be a Scout if I'm Team Red, but I'm actually going to be a Soldier for this. Let's spice up the classes a bit. When there's loads of engineers on the map, which there usually is for Dust Bowl for defending the control points, I'm going to play as Soldier. The Soldier is always my favourite class of players if, if, if I can't play as a Scout, if there's too many engineers on the map, so I'd always play as a Soldier instead. Some Team Fortress class I do prefer playing as more than others, but usually I don't really care which class I play as, I love all the Team Fortress classes. But I'm going to shoot through here. Oh crap. Oh, is he shooting at me? Fucking hell, he isn't, oh. So this guy knows about that, but if I can get there, I can uh, I can get rockets to go through there, but I'm not going to do that, because that guy is firing at me. Okay, hopefully we can get some more players on the map. I don't expect it to be the most entertaining to watch video, but I wish I could make this video more entertaining than what it is, because... Um... Years ago, if you compare to how many players were on this game years ago, there's not really that many players that play this game nowadays. But if we went back in time to like 2012, when I played this game all the time, there was always so many players on Team Fortress 2 and I just got blown up. Good start. Yeah, but compared to, there's not really as many, no way near as many players online now as there's like PS4 and PS5. Most PS3 servers for most games are actually, clo are actually shut down now. I mean, the Call of Duty servers are still online to be fair. And obviously the orange box on Team Fortress 2, but still, there's not really that many people playing online these days as there was all those years ago, which is a huge shame because no matter how many times I play it, this game just never gets old for me. It just brings back so many memories. Only some of the best gaming memories of my life, if you ask me. Easy, the best online memories of my life. I made quite a lot of friends actually playing this game as well online back in the day. Not that I speak to any of them now, but okay, there's a spy. Okay, that guy's got a medic on him, so I really need to watch out. Oh, I got the medic. Ha, no. Did I get the medic or did I get the spy? Well, I got one of them. Oh. Okay, I need to be really careful. Oh, did not want to switch weapon. Oh, I thought that rocket was going to hit me. Oh, that was a nice critical kill that guy got, but luckily I blew that soldier up. Get out of here. Well, I got the spy. I think I got the spy. And there's a blue, I think there's a blue demo man right there. Yes, there is. I'll get rid of him. I would love to do some PC gameplay of Team Fortress 2 one day, and I think Team Blue have got this control point. Yep, they have. Ah, oh, shit. I'm running, I'm running. Oh. Has he got me? Yeah, he has. I thought I was going to get away before he killed me, but unfortunately I couldn't. Where is this guy? Is he on top of the map? Huh. So we got four engineers and a scout and a soldier, which is myself on the map. All right, let's do this. The dust bomb map just gets better for me the further you get through it. The last part of the dust bomb map is easily my favorite part of the map, where you're near the rocket. It's just such a fun part of the map to defend on, if you ask me. I'm hoping though, when we finish defending, hopefully there'll be an attacking round, hopefully. I hope there will be an attacking round, because I would like to play as Team Blue and attack. I do this from an attacking perspective. I just wish I made like videos of this game all those years ago when there were so many people online on this. Yeah, that would have made some that would have made for some entertaining Team Fortress 2 videos. As there's not as many people playing online these days, I thought may, may, maybe making those kind of videos wouldn't be the best thing. But I thought I'd do one anyway, just for like a one-off let's play. I'm still quite surprised how many people still play online in this game nowadays though. Here we've got sentry there, hopefully 
50 centuries can do statue. Guys, we're gonna have a spy probably at some point. Okay, we've got a pyro on the map, that's good. He can take care of the spy. Oh, he's gone Uber charge. Holy shit. I need the Uber charge to drain before I can take him out. Come on, come on. There we go, I got the soldier. Nice. Okay, we've got a demo man right there. I need to be really careful. Oh, there we are. Okay, I didn't get, I don't think I've got a demo man. There's, is there a spider? No, there isn't. Okay, we've got that guy. Okay, looks like the soldier's coming back. I need to watch out for this guy, he's always got a medic on him, so I need to really watch out for that. Could have got a pyro that will set them alight. Hopefully that will keep them at bay for a little bit longer. I'm hoping that will keep them at bay a little bit longer. Okay, time's been added. Oh dear, right. Now I've got to defend the second area. I'm thinking the engineers have built most of the sentries around there. If I'm like, oh, that was a crick. Oh, there's a sentry being built there, though. Oh, there comes a blue engineer. I don't think so. You're not building a sentry around here. There we are. Oh, I just saw a spy, but... It's a bit... Okay, I'm going to need... Okay, there's definitely a spy around here. I don't think so. Oh, the scout's got him. Well, I'm going to quickly head back and refill my ammo. Because I do not want to be too low on rockets. Come on, is there any ammo around here? Right, I'll just go over here then and get some ammo this way. And go the long way around. Can't. Usually we'll get some ammo that will drop here. Okay, here we go. Okay, got some more ammo. I could have just gone back to the back to the locker room and got some ammo that way, but I didn't want to do that. Uh oh. Okay, I'm in the middle of a battle here. I think I might be the only person here, so I need to really be careful. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna retreat a bit and head to the back here, the area where we need to defend. Okay, this guy's got a medic on him, I need to be really careful. Okay, got some more health here, that's not gonna be enough health, and we got we got a sentry, yes we do. I'm just gonna refill health again. I thought it would be really useful that time because if, as that soldier's got a medic on him, I thought I'm want, I need to get full health if I'm to take advantage of the fact he's got a medic on him. Whoa! Okay, there was a spider got right behind. Nice kill. Okay, their sentries, that sentry I think has been destroyed. Luckily, the engineer's going to rebuild it again. Yeah, that engineer's dead. When I can respawn, hopefully we can continue defending this control point. Okay, I'm back as soldier again. Oh, I don't think so. Get away. Get away. I got the spy. Well, I'm going to get on the control point and stop these guys coming. Oh, they're going to Uber charge. Oh, come on. Get some rockets down there. Oh, is that heavy? I thought there was a heavy up there. Okay, I think that soldier's been taken out. Although I can't be certain about that. Yes, there is a heavy up there. I thought there might be. You know he's a heavy weak when you can hear his minigun. Oh, there's a spy there. I don't think so. Come on, blow up that heavy. Heavies have a lot of health. Which can be a bit of a disadvantage, but I think we've got the heavy. Yes, we do. Well, I'm sure can we refill my health quick. Was that a scout on the control point? Oh, don't tell me he's going to catch it. Well, he does as well. Oh, just as I was refilling my health. Is he going to kill me? Is he going to notice I'm here? Okay, they did not see me hiding. They don't know I'm hiding there. Okay, this is my favourite part of the map of Dust Bowl to defend, though. I love defending this part of the map. They're all shouting Medic. Fine, I'll join in. Medic! Doctor! Oh, I remember doing this. <laughs> oh, memories. <laughs> got that soldier deal again. We've got a heavy as well. 
I think that mate's probably going to heal that heavy up there as well. But hopefully we can get loads of sentries on this part of the map. I reckon when this control point gets captured, that cheeky spy is going to head to the final control point and capture it the second second this control point gets captured but hopefully we can I can beat him to it right here we go here they come just a few seconds to go right here we go oh it's a spy there I knew there'll be a spy around there somewhere and that's that scout's got the spy I think there might be another spike behind me, which I don't think there is. When you get yourself into a game with lots of players, this can be one of the funnest multiplayer games you'll ever play in your life. I'm not kidding. In my opinion, there is no better multiplayer game out there than Team Fortress 2. That's just my opinion. Obviously, some people are going to differ on that, but if you ask me, Team Fortress 2 is where it's at for me. When it comes to online multiplayer. Obviously, the PS3 version is mediocre compared to the... Um, PC version, but if you really want the best multiplayer experience, then definitely get the PC version. Where you can customize your character, your loadout, and where you can customize the outfits your characters wear, and you can customize like the weapons each character uses and that kind of thing as well. Oh, gotta look out for that demo man. I need to be careful because I do not want him getting sticky bombs on on the sentry. Die. Did I get him? No, hopefully that scout's got him, which I don't think actually I don't know if he has. Oh, is that, is that Demo Man still not dead? A bit low on health, so I need to go get some more health quickly. There we are, got that spy. Usually I don't usually play online multiplayer first person shooters, but Team Fortress 2 is just an exception. I just love playing it. All the memories I have from it. And one of the players will not stop shouting medic. Ah! Okay, he got me. The death was bound to come. But I think if they start capturing this control point, I'm... Okay, I think the sentry's been destroyed, so I might just stick with the final control point and defend that. Yeah, it looks like they're going to get that control point. I need to respawn as quick as possible. Come on, come on. Right, let's get to that control point quickly before they catch it. Hopefully there's already some sentries around here, which there isn't. Come on, we need some sentries built. I'm just going to camp out here and wait for them to come to the control point. That will probably be the best thing to do. Wait, he's up there. How the hell did you get up there? I have known loads of people to mod this game. So I think this game this game is quite an easy game to mod. I don't know much about modding myself. But I have known loads of people to like. Do things you wouldn't expect people to do in this game. Like go all the way up there. and Where is that teleporter for that anyway? So we've got a sentry there. But... Tell you what, I don't really want to head to this con Ah, we got a spy. I knew there was a spy coming, so I'm just going to camp out here. Wait, I'm going to protect this sentry, so I know which sentry he's coming to. I'm just going to wave that spy to a bit, but I don't think he's going to. Right, just give it time. It's not my sentry, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, it's still an engineer. I don't know if he took the spy out. Here we are. I want to find out where that teleporter is. Ah, here we go. Wonderful, we're up the top. Ha 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 ha. Wait, don't tell me I'm stuck. Or am I? Right, no, I'm not stuck. That's good. I don't think so. Ha, ah, I love this. Ah! Okay, he's blowing up all the sentries. Maybe I should stay on the low ground for now. At least we got sentry there though. That should that should slow them down a little bit while I need to respawn. Right, we're back. I think I'll spend quite a bit of time playing soldier. Maybe I'll pick a different class of players at some point. I do like playing as scout though. The engineer may not seem like much of a class, but when you're playing against an engineer and he's got sentries on the field, you'll definitely remember the engineer in no time. Is that? No, that medic is not a spy. I thought, I was wondering if that medic was going to be a spy. Okay, he's going to heal me up. That's good. So I've got a medic helping me out here. Oh, 
Okay, I've got that demo man as well to deal with now as well. At least I've got a medic to help me out, but I would, I would advise that demo man not to get too close. Because if he does, that sentry is going to get him. I don't know if he knows a sentry's there. He might do. I don't know. But for now, I'm just going to stick around here and just stop the movement. Oh, spy. Okay, that demo man got that spy. There's a demo man. He took that sentry out. Okay, he knew that sentry was there. Smart guy. Okay, we've got more players on Team Red now, I think. So that's, that's handy. We need another sentry. Oh, wonderful. Uber charge. I don't think so. Okay, that demo... Oh, we've got loads of demo mans to deal with. Jesus. I think I could see why as well, because we had like a sentry built up there. I think the only way they're going to blow that up is they have to, if they had the demo man. So I need to get some more ammo. I just realised how low I am on rockets. Oh, get away from that. Pull that was close. I thought he almost had a chance of blowing me up. I ain't got many kills in a while, but as long as I'm defending the control point, that's all, all that matters, as long as I'm keeping the enemy team at bay. I know he's in there. Got a medic on helping me out, so that's handy. Got the Uber Charge on me. The name of the medic's weapon is the Uber Charge, is the, we the weapon that he uses to heal you constantly. When it reaches 100%, that's when you can fully charge yourself. Yes! Got that demo man. I don't know where the engineers are at. Sniper. See a spy. I don't think that sniper's one of ours. No, he's not. I didn't think I knew. I had that little feeling that sniper wasn't one of ours. Okay, we've got another sentry there, that's handy. I need to um, turn my attention to... Oh, there's a spy there. Well, I need to refill my ammo again. I should got a kill then, nice. The Orange Box version of Team Fortress 2 can lag a bit as well. I have, I have got in many games in the past where the game can lag if like a second or two. Luckily, they're not game-breaking lags, luckily, but sometimes there are times occasionally where you will get yourself onto a very laggy game. Unfortunately, that does happen quite a lot when you play the PS3 version. PS3 version's game. I'm not sure if the Xbox 360 version lags a lot. I'm not sure because I never played the Xbox 360 version of this game, but sign tells me it occasionally has lags here and there. I need to get rid of that scout. Okay, I want to kill this guy. Kill these demo men. We cannot let these demo men capture that control point. Well, at least I've got plenty of ammo for now. Oh, I need to get rid of that demo man. I'm not exactly the most accurate with the rockets, am I? Oh, okay. Someone's launching sticky bombs onto the control point. We've got another soldier on the map now as well. Just hoping to keep these guys at bay. We've got heavy on them. All two heavies. <laughs> Alright. I've got a feeling he's a spy. Yes, he is. I had a feeling he was a spy. Just the way he was just standing there, wasn't doing any movement. I just had a feeling he was a spy. I just wish I could go back in time and play this game like 10 years ago because there were so many people online, so many good players online years ago as well. Some far better than what I am now. Those were some good memories. PC version also had Team Fortress 2 Man vs Machine as well and honestly that is a very fun game mode. The Orange Box version of Team Fortress 2 unfortunately does not have any Man vs Machine content, which is a bit of a shame. The Orange Box version when it came out was basically Team Fortress 2 when it first came out. Fortunately, it never got any additional content, like no additional maps or anything like that, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, the control point's been captured. I need to be really careful. Refill my health quickly. I'm just so glad I'm not doing this on my own, because doing this on my own would be impossible. 
That's why it's called Team Fortress after all. Because you need to do this as a team. There we go. Got that demo man. Let's see if I can... Oh, we've got another engineer. Not, uh, not the wise idea to be an engineer. Whamming your wrench around when you're going to control point. Probably not the best thing to do. I'm just making sure this control point is at bay. No one's going to catch it. Hopefully we can get ourselves into attacking game as well, hopefully. When this is... If we defend this long enough. We've got to defend this for almost just over 10 minutes. I, could, I should play as an engineer for a little while. But if I do, those demo men are going to keep blowing my my sentry up. I just know. Considering there's a spy on the map as well. When they zap it, I think it's going to be a bit of a hassle to keep my sentry safe. There's another spy around here. I just want to watch myself. What I don't want to do though is leave the control point unattended because when I do that all the spy has got to do is use the cloak and when we get too far away from control point when the spy tries to catch we will not be able to get to control point in time so I just want to keep myself around near the control point area and just make sure I defend the control point. So I'm going to go refill my rockets quickly so I'm very low on rockets. I just wish the PC version of Team Fortress 2 will come to consoles one day. That is such a big dream, but honestly, I think Team Fortress 2 will stay as a PC exclusive, but I think, I just hope one day, if I'm really lucky, the PC version of TF2 will come to consoles, if I'm lucky. That would be such a dream, though. Forget Overwatch, we want a PC, a playable PC version of Team Fortress 2 on consoles, that is the dream. We've got a demo man over there, I need to watch out for him. Okay, I'm dominating a player. Okay, I've been and died a while, so I thought it would be long eventually wouldn't be long until I start dominating a player. I remember what it was like to dominate or get dominated by other players. I remember it was pretty much half and half of me. Sometimes I would dominate players, sometimes other players would dominate me because there are far better Team Fortress players out there than me. I can tell you that now. But I've been playing this game for around 10 years now, so I pretty much know the ins and outs of Team Fortress 2. Well, the Orange Box version anyway. Is he going to zap it? I don't think so. There we go. Dominating another player. Haha. <laughs> okay, that sentry's been taken down though, which is a shame. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he killed me. Someone needs to kill that guy. Yep, the heavy's got to him. I stay alive, a soldier longer that round, my previous best. All oh, right. Fair enough. So what are my stats right now? 17 kills, only 6 deaths. 3 assists and 1 destruction. So I've got 22 points in total. I'm dominating 2 players on the opposite team. Not bad. I don't know. I don't think it'd be particularly possible to dominate every player on the map. That's probably asking for. That's probably a bit too much to ask. Just got heavy there. That guy's building another century again. So we've got just under seven minutes, twenty seconds to finish off this game. Hopefully, we can defend this for as long as possible. As a spy, spy. Okay, that heavy's got that spy, that's good. Another engineer. Okay, we got... Oh, they're bringing out the big guns now. Okay, now they're really trying. Okay, I just want to get here and take that soldier out. Oh, is that... A, that's a spy. I don't think so. Yep, I know, I know he's a spy. There we are. 
I just knew you can tell when a spy is disguised as a scout because scouts are the quickest classes to are the fastest character in the game. What you know it's a spy when that scout does not run quite as quickly as a normal scout. When a spy disguises as a scout, spies can't run as quick as ordinary scouts. So that's when you know that scout is a spy. And they can't double jump either. Is that guy a spy? Yeah, I thought he was a spy. I just had that feeling. Okay, so we're defending this for as long as possible. So far, it's been quite a chaotic match, but so far, I'm doing quite well in terms of defending the control point. So I'm sticking to my tactic, just sticking this control point. I'm not going to go toward the rest of the map because in case the blue do get the upper hand the, on my teammates and do catch the control point. So if I stick around here toward the control point, we can make sure we do defend the control point. But I remember playing a scout on this game quite a few times and the amount of hate comments, like, the amount of hate messages I used to get on PS3 back in the day. Oh, got an Uber charge. Let's go brain down some destruction on these guys. Okay, I'll need to reload. There we go. That demo's down. This player keeps shouting medic. <laughs> so we've got five, just five minutes. Okay, that guy's not a spy. Spies can be a very irritating characters for obvious reasons. Huh? Is that a spy? I call that medic on me. Medic, 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 medic. <laughs> when you play as a medic and the players keep doing that, that is going to do the medic's head in. <laughs> Imagine all the medicals he's getting. The amount of people that are requesting him to him to heal. I think someone's built a sentry. Yes, they have. When you recharge this full, we'll go and take out that sentry. Actually, I know what I could do. While I do play a soldier, I like to cause damage to myself so that you recharge feels like quicker. And the more damaged you are, the quicker your you recharge is going to heal up. And I think my medic's been taken down. No, he hasn't. He's still alive. Come on, medic. Come back to me. Okay, almost there. Wait, before that guy does the Uber charge, I'm just going to quickly refill my rockets. Almost forgot I'm low on rockets. Right. Medic, where you at? Here we go. Right, three, two, one. Come on. Here we go. That sentry's going down. Here we go. Got that sentry. Ha ha ha. Nice. Nice teamwork. So that sentry's down. That's going to stop the Team Blue from pushing forward. I would imagine that engineer's built a teleporter somewhere, but I'm not going to go to the other side of the map and take that teleport out. I'm just going to stick to defending the main control point. Me and Gumball so far are making a great team. Heavies are a great medic buddy, but sometimes soldiers really do do the job. I'm going to head up here quick. Okay, oh, I've got a dispenser up here. Just shot myself. Oh, that engineer's in the way. Okay, that sentry's been destroyed, so I can again get closer now. Oh. Medic, I need your help. Okay, that spy is not capture at control point. Well, for you guys can see, though, why Team Fortress 2 is such an appealing game to some people. I mean, me personally, the second I started playing this game, I clicked with this game straight away and it became my favourite first-person shooter of all time. I'd rather play this game any day over at, like, Call of Duty and all the other first-person shooter games I play. Far Cry, Time Splitters, those kind of games. It's much I'd love to see Time Splitters return to modern consoles, but Team Fortress 2, I'd love to see. The PC version of TF2, I'd just love to see come to modern consoles. Did I get that guy? Nah. I might have done some damage, but I don't think they actually killed him. I've got to think the sentry's been built again. Yes, it has. I figured that. Oh, okay, I got blown up. Okay, that was a good chance for him to kill me. And he certainly took that chance. 
So I've just got over a minute left to defend this control point. It's a shame I wasn't on the 2 4 map for that long, but honestly, though, I'd much rather be on Dust Bowl and 2 4. Dust Bowl is easily my favourite map in Team Fortress. There's just something about Dust Bowl map that's so appealing to me. In fact, it's quite a decent sized map. In fact, it, I've played in it for so many years, know the insides and outs of it. Okay, so mission ends in 60 seconds. 2 4 map, some games can go on for a very long time. On Dust Bowl, they can, depending how quickly the enemy team captures the control point. So I think I'm still dominating the other two players. I still think, yes, I am. Yeah, I was going to fail. I don't remember them getting their revenge on me. I think there's a spy around here. Yep. That pyro was a spy. That engineer got him. Is that sentry still there? No, it's not. It's been destroyed. Okay, not long to go now. I'm just going to quickly get some more ammo quickly. Then we'll go run Team Blue back to where they came from. Okay, I'm not going to ammo, but I think that should be enough ammo if you ask me. Oh, there's some ammo here. There we are. Let's go. They're hiding now, I think. Victory. We've done it. Red Team wins. We successfully defended until time ran out. Is he a spy? No, he isn't. He's not a spy. Okay, we're now attacking. All right, let's do an attacking round. Attacking is really fun. Team Red defend and Team Blue attack. So now we're Team Blue and we're now going to attack. Oh, God. I feel so sorry for that medic. Medic, come here. We're going to do this. What I'd love to do, though, before the game begins, keep shooting myself, obviously... The less health you have, the, the quicker... Me when Medic heals you, the quicker his uber charge is going to heal up. Medic, where are you? Oh, don't let me blow myself up by accident. Medic! Okay, he's going to heal the dirt man instead. Alright. Okay, fair enough. I'll be on my own for this. I'm going to head around this way and, and ambush Team Red that way. Mission begins in 10 seconds. Okay, I'm ready. I'm actually really happy though. People still online and there's a sentry right there. Holy shit. Okay, I took out the engineer so I can now go for the sentry. There we are. Sentry's down. Well, I want to take out that soldier. When I go for the control I do not want him anywhere near me. So I'm going to think there's going to be a sentry in here. Yes, there is. I thought there might be. And that guy is taking him out of his wrench. And he hit me with wrench. I'm no longer dominating the other players. And that was one of the players I dominated, the guy that took me out there. So he got his revenge on me in the end. Okay, so there's one. Did I get that? No, I didn't. I can easily shoot the sentry from here, though. I should easily be able to take it out. Unless there's an engineer right near it. There we are. Got that sentry. Right, I need a medic here to help me out. See, I think you can see why engineers are a pain in the ass and probably the most irritating, memorable characters in Team Fortress. Right, so I took out the engineer, so I need to go for that sentry now. Okay, at least we've got a sentry out here, though. There we are. Got that guy. Okay, now I need to go for the sentry. There it is. Is it going to start attacking me? Yeah, it did a little bit. When you're in the sentry's line of fire, it is going to rain masses of destruction on you. Surely there's got to be a better way to take that sentry out. Oh, I wish the rockets could go through that crack. Bingo. Oh, whoa. Okay, I did not see that coming. Okay, I've got some help. I'm going to take this engineer out. See? Smart guy. Okay, he's retreating. Get some more health and ammo, and now... Let's see if I can get on the control point. Yes, I can. There we are. 
Here we go. We got it. We got it. Yes, we do. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, well. At least we got this control point now when that sentry was there. <laughs> nice strategy. Okay, time to get a last control point. Then this part of the Dust Bowl map is ours. I'm going to take that sentry gun out, I think, when the patrol point gets captured. Yes, it does. Right, where is that sentry? Put the sentry out of his misery. There we are. Blow up this dispenser as well. There we go. So it's time to get ourselves to defend the second part of the map. Okay, so we can no longer go on this part of the map now because we now captured it. So now we've got to wait and camp out around here until until these gates open then we can begin our attack. We still got the medic on the map. No, the medic's gone. Okay, so we've got no medic anymore. I think it's about time I did play as another character. Actually, come to think of it, I should play a spy for a little while, I think. Yeah, why not? I think I've done enough playing as a soldier, so I think what I'm going to do now is play a spy for a little while. Spice things up a bit. Okay, there's going to be an engineer, so I'm going to disguise myself as an enemy engineer. Yeah, the red are now going to know there's a, a red, well, a red enemy engineer on the map. So I'm going to cloak myself and get myself to the other side of the map and find out where the sentry is located. So I'm just going to get in here, hide here, wait for my cloak to regenerate, then we'll continue our attack. I need to get to that sentry and zap it. Okay, I've got the dispenser. Okay, he's... Okay, that's got to stop the zapper. So what I'm going to do... Hit up here. Oh, fuck. Ah. Wasn't the smartest idea. Maybe I should just stick to being soldier. I'll play a spy for a little bit longer. If playing as a spy doesn't work out from here, we'll go back to being soldier. Or maybe demo man. Actually, I've not played as demo man at all yet. I think maybe I'll play as demo man. How about that? I'll just quickly myself. I'm just going to quickly hide here. Then I can take out the other buildings. Actually, is that? That dispenser still there? No, it's not. It's gone. Right, I'm going to quickly shoot the sentry. There we are. Got the sentry. Right, the sentry's down. Hopefully, my team can now can, can now advance a bit further. I'm going to disguise as someone who's on the other team. I'm going to disguise as an engineer. Oops. Uh oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I took out the sentry gun that time around. But can I do it again? I think I'll do one more round with Spy, then we'll go to being Demo Man. Uh, I'm going to disguise myself as a medic this time. Is there a pyro up there? Yes, there is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's a pyro. Th oh, okay, that pyro's my team. Of course he is. Go on, play as Team Blue now. Right, there we go. We've got the control point. I'm going to be... Go back to him disguising his medic again. Right, let's go. I'm going to head up here, actually. Take out this demo man. Backstab him. Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice shot. I just want my cloak to regenerate. Then we can... Go and take out... Capture that control point. Oh my god. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Okay, there's a pyro. That spells a bit of trouble. Okay, shot disguise as a pyro. Nah. Oh, don't. I do not want to disguise as heavy because as heavies are the slowest class, spies' movement will slow down when you disguise as a heavy. And also, I do not want that to happen. Don't 
Doctor, I need some healing. He's not going to heal me, is he? He's not going to bother. Well, I'll, take, I'll shoot this pyro. I don't think I'm going to do it. We'll start shooting on the control points if I can kill any of these guys. Oh, there's a health kit around here. I think I need to, instead of doing this bit of a stealthy approach, I think I'm going to need to do this a bit more. Need to be a bit more aggressive, I think. So I think what we're going to do now, if we change class, let's go play as a demo man. I think I've done enough with Spy, let's go play as the Demo Man. I love playing as the Demo Man as well. The Sticky Bomb Launcher is such an effective weapon against sentries. When there's enough Sticky Bombs near the sentry, the Engineer can't do fuck all about it. That's why I love Demo Man. But I'm gonna see where that sentry is. is there any? Yep, yeah, there is a sentry there. I thought there might be. Right, I'm going to shoot some bombs over there. Uh-oh. Ah. Well, maybe I should go back to being soldier. So I've got a smart way to... A way I could take out that sentry, but... I think I'll stick with the damn man for now. Oh, is there a teleporter there? Yes, there is. Alright. Nice one. It's always handy to have an engineer on the map. If you're a scout, you could just run from one side of the map to the other, no problem. But as I'm not playing as fast a character, I think it'd be easier if I did use a teleport for this. Okay, I'm getting. He's dominating me now. Okay. Okay. Tell you what, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be soldier for this. I was doing good a soldier last round. Let's go back to being soldier again. I was going to. Okay, the teleport's been taken out. Let's start with capturing the control point. I do like playing as Demo Man, but I thought as I'm getting dominated, let's go back to being a soldier. So I need to find a way to take out that sentry gun, but I think I, I've got an idea how to do it. But I just need to make sure the other enemies are kept at bay while I do it. I will have my revenge. Oops, maybe not. Not just yet, anyway. Okay, they've really turned into a good team now. So what I need to do... Tell you what, it's going to be wild tax build. The engineer's going to be the first to walk through it, so... I'm just going to... Just do take slow around. That's a good, that's a handy idea as well, because I can take stop this pyro. Oh dear. I don't think so. Oh, he's got it. Oh, how did I miss him? Jesus Christ. Okay, that was bad. Is that... No. I thought the pyro was still rounded, but I don't think he is. Is that my nemesis over there? If so, I can target my nemesis and get my revenge. I'm going to head this way around. I was having a lot of fun today. I'm definitely more of a defending person than I am an attacking person, 100%. Oops, okay, someone's attacking me. Yep, it's my nemesis. He's got me again. I was dominating last round, now it's the other way round. I don't know where to go back to being Demon Man though, I don't know. But I think I'll stick with Soldier for now. Maybe when we begin the next round, maybe I will play as Demo Man, I don't know. I've played as Soldier loads in this. I think it's nice to spice things up if you're to play as different classes. as this has been quite a long play video of Team Fortress 2. Okay, I want to do some damage to that guy, and I think... No, the soldier's not there. Right, let's go. Okay. Okay, I've got that sentry, though, and that's good. Okay, that guy is... Charge, I'm going to have to wait patiently. Okay, there's that soldier. Let's go take him out. 
Whoa, okay. He's bringing in some heavy fire. Ah, he got... God damn it. I don't think we're going to be capturing this control point yet. Actually, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to play as a different class. I'm going to play... Let's get a medic. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm not playing as medic yet, so let's have a go as playing as medic. Okay, looks like they're capturing this control point now, but I don't know how long it's going to take for them to... Nope, of course they're going to defend it. Right, where is that heavy? I'll go heal him. Right, let's give this guy some health. Right, where is their... I love how fairly balanced this game is, though. When it comes to classes, because luckily there's not a single class this game that's overpowered. Every class has their strength and weakness. Okay, here comes that pyro. Okay, I need. Okay, this is all heavy. Wonderful. Okay, I found a heavy. Okay, I've still got heavy. The heavy the Ubercharge. Haha. <laughs> Okay, pro I'll advance toward the control point and we got that demo man. Come on, I want my revenge. Kill that heavy. Kill that soldier, rather. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, luckily the health medic's health does actually regenerate after a while. Oh, heavy, I'm coming. Shame I can't heal the sentry. <laughs> Imagine if I could do that. Alright, I'm coming. Alright, okay, I'll heal this demo man, see what he's got in mind. Okay, my Huber charge is nearly filled up. Right, come on, demo man, advance forward. Come on, advance forward, Heavy. Yes, we got it! Is anyone around it? Nope. We finally got that control point. There we are. Use my saw as a little violin. Okay, so we've got to capture five two control points, then we've won the game. How am I doing in terms of stats? I've got 26 kills, 18 deaths. I wouldn't say I had the best round that time, but you know what, I think once we capture the control point, then we can win the whole game. <laughs> Look at them all calling me, getting loads of notifications that they all want healing. I'll just join in as well, why not? There's my nemesis. I'm coming for you, bitch. Anyway, I don't want to lose focus. Let's begin. Oh, heal the heavy. Okay, heavy, get ready. Here we go. Oh, there's my nemesis. Take him out. Is he going after him? Yes, he is. Okay, the soldier got the mech, so I won't, unfortunately I didn't get my revenge then. I'll heal the heavy. Right, come on heavy, advance forward. Try and go for that sentry if you can. Go! Come on, take it out. Yeah, there we go. Let's get to the control point. Oh, I couldn't ca Oh, I did capture it. I got the control point. Come on, take out that. Yes, I got my revenge. There we go. With the help of my heavy. The medic and heavy have a great bromance throughout Team Fortress 2. They, they are such great buddies. Obviously, if you've been following Team Fortress 2 for a long time, you'll know the heavy and medic have great chemistry together. Okay, I think this might be our control point. 
victory. Oh, that was easy. So we. I think that might be the game. We've won both rounds. Oh, we're now defending again. No, I think we've done quite enough of Dust Bowl. Let's look at my final stats. I've got 27 kills, 18 deaths, and we managed to win both rounds of defending. So I think that'll be it. Let's see what other games are available. Is it just that Dust Bowl game? So I think I've shown off a bit of the Orange Box version of Team Fortress in this video. So I think what we'll do is we'll end the video here. Okay, guys, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you want to keep updated with all the gaming content, I upload to my channel. And I hope to see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. This is Goldie X, and I'm out.